what I want to do very briefly is to welcome you all here. It's a real pleasure to see so many of you here and to welcome you on behalf of Network on what is, I think, a very special occasion, the 40th anniversary of The Persuaders. Yay. I'm now going to ask you to give a round of applause and a rousing welcome to the star of the show, Sir Roger Moore. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And good night. Thank you. So, did you enjoy the film? Yes. Who was in it? <laughs> Tony Curtis, I think, and some other bloke. Oh, I him. like him. Why yeah. did you go to the Persuaders? Uh, because I knew that 40 years later, I'd be sitting here <laughs> uh, talking to you. Ah, well, yeah, there could be no better reason. Why? Because Lou Gray shoved a cigar in my mouth and offered me a couple of bob. Ah. <laughs> yeah, rumour hath it that a couple of bob was actually a million quid. Is, is that right? I, I wish that had been true, because if it is true, I'd like to know where it is. <laughs> Which of you signed up for the Persuaders first? Was it you or Tony Curtis? Uh, well, it was, it was. I never signed. I never signed a contract. Well, nobody ever did with Lou, did they? No, no, no you shook hands with Lou. That yes. was enough. He was a wonderful man. And uh, he, I, he, he had told me, he said, I've sold the Persuaders. And I said, yeah, but uh, I, I said I really didn't want to do it. He said, well, the country needs the money. <laughs> Think of your queen. According to Lou, in his, in, in his memoirs, you and Tony didn't get on all that well. You didn't actually hit it off. Is that right? Uh, well, you know, like all marriages, there are good days and there are bad days. Uh, I can see another evasive answer coming up. <laughs> well, we had a bad day. No, we, we, no, no, no we, we, got, we got off by it, but Tony would never stick to a script, and he, and he always wore gloves, if you remember in the yeah. series. Why? Uh, well, because, because he didn't want the, the hash that he was smoking to show on his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> because he was, Reasonable. He was very busy with them. Yeah. And so he was always, a lot of the time, slightly stoned and couldn't, <laughs> and could, couldn't get the words together. And we would usually sit and look at me and say, Dear sweet Roger, I love you. <laughs> and then he said, we're, we're just engaged. <laughs> There's also a story that when champagne was called for on the set, you and Tony actually drank champagne, not the usual fizzy, fizzy water, and you put on 20 pounds in the course of making the series. Is yeah, right? you, you look at the series, the first episode, and look at the last. I was about a stone or two different. And that was champagne, was it? It was a lot of hair. Ah, yeah. No, yeah. yes, it was always champagne. It was always champagne. But isn't that kind of dangerous if you've got to do the scene many times? I was slightly sloshed, which made up for him being slightly stoned. <laughs> ah. <laughs>